Right to the weather, we're talking about a first alert weather day. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Kate. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Let's jump into it. This afternoon through tomorrow morning, inches of rain, one to two, possibly even three inches in parts of the state. 50 mile an hour wind gusts can be expected. 50 plus mile an hour wind gusts can be expected. Also, elevation snow. There's a winter weather advisory in effect for northern Litchfield County. It's April 3rd. Who needs it? Traveling, nuisance flooding, the evening commute, and overnight uh, workers tonight, third shifters, you're going to be running into some problems out there on the roadway, so please keep your speeds down. Let's run down what's taking place. A wind advisory in effect for most of Connecticut. High wind warning for the immediate shoreline. Coastal flood advisory for southeast Connecticut. Coastal flood warning for southwest Connecticut as the water gets pushed in to the Long Island Sound due to the windy conditions. We're expecting inundation one and a half to two and a half, possibly even three feet above normal. Now, don't go north because it's going to get worse there. They're expecting a couple of feet, one to two feet of snow in parts of Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. Look at most of Maine under a winter storm warning. It's April 3rd and we've got this to deal with. All right, let's take a look at first alert live radar. The only live radar in Connecticut, Oxford, Monroe. New Haven, Hamden, Milford, Stratford, Naugatuck, right down Route 8, up to Route 7, 84 as it crosses through Danbury. Everybody's getting wet out there this morning, and it continues to traverse from uh, southwest to northeast. So not quite raining now in the quiet corner, but you got about 15 minutes to go before it starts raining there. I'm going to widen out the shot. We've got a secondary area of low pressure that's forming over the Delmarva Peninsula. That is going to be sweeping into Connecticut through the day today, tonight, and tomorrow. Windsor Locks 42. Not a bad eye cam there, right? With mostly cloudy skies. It's dreary in New Haven. You can see the wet pavement, the wet roads there and uh, a 43 degree temperature. At least it's no ice this morning, that's for sure, with the wind out of the east northeast at eight. So here are the temperatures. We're talking about numbers that aren't going anywhere today. This is it. These are your highs, so enjoy them. You might sneak up a degree or two, but that's about it. And look at the sustained winds right now along the shoreline, 15 to 20 miles an hour. That's sustained, not Gusts. Let's check in with the gusts. No, I don't have them for there for you, but we're expecting gusts to be in excess of about 30 miles an hour this morning, and they'll only increase throughout the day today. All right, it's Wednesday, mostly cloudy, rain on the way. It's a first alert weather day. Monday, uh, excuse me, today through tomorrow, rain, wind, and snow. The storm system is slow to exit, and then improvement over the upcoming weekend. We got to get there first. It's only Wednesday. Let's take a look at first alert futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today. Rain, rain at 10 o'clock, maybe a little bit of spotty shower activity at noon, but then it really fills in for the evening rush. Look at all this, 3 p.m. Look at this at 6 p.m. That is a deluge, and that'll continue through tonight and into tomorrow morning. All right, forecasted highs today, close to where we are right now. Your seven-day forecast, rain and snow showers tomorrow, isolated showers on Friday. We dry things out for the weekend, and the great American eclipse looks great. Kate, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Scott, thank you. Well